Hi, my name is Daniele Tricarico. I'm Director of Insights and Research at GSMA Agritech. And I'm going to tell you about Digital Agriculture Maps, our brand new industry report for digital ag practitioners. Let me start by telling you about the work that we do at GSMA Agritech. So GSMA Agritech is part of the GSMA, the Global Association of the Mobile Industry. Our vision is to achieve equitable and sustainable food supply chains that empower farmers and strengthen local economies. Our mission is to bring together and support the mobile industry, agricultural sector stakeholders, innovators and investors in the agri-tech space to launch, improve and scale impactful and importantly commercially viable digital solutions for farmers in the developing world. In a minute, I'm gonna tell you about uh, Digital Agriculture Maps, an industry report. And this is part of our research and knowledge sharing work stream. As a program, we also do technical work. Uh, we have an innovation fund currently ongoing in seven countries uh, worldwide. Uh, and this is an important part as well of the work that we do. We provide technical consultancy, assistance, and as well funding to digital agriculture service providers. Naturally, uh, part of our work is about bringing together through knowledge sharing platforms, events, so bringing together uh, industry practitioners. Now talking about DAMS, Digital Agriculture Maps, this is a new industry publication uh, leveraging a database of over 700 uh, services. We have built over time our database of digital agriculture solutions and we're very proud to be able to um, uh, offer analysis on the trends uh, that we are observing in digital agriculture on the back uh, of this database. The report has been produced in collaboration with IDH FarmFit and it offers a window into the digital agriculture landscape in low to middle income countries. The report DAMS helps industry practitioners and investors, including donors, understand key trends and emerging opportunities. It is a very comprehensive uh, report it is, however, uh, also modular, so it offers in-depth analysis uh, for different uh, use cases. So there should be interesting content for different types of practitioners with different interests. One key uh, output of the report are the maps. This is why it's called digital agriculture maps. For we have a number of uh, visualization uh, tools in the report and on our website as well such as the one that you can see here in the middle of this slide. In this case, a heat map of digital agriculture in Africa. And we'll see this in a little bit more detail in a minute. So for anyone that is looking at the digital agriculture landscape, a key challenge is around categorization and classification of different services and different solutions. Many agricultural, digital agriculture use cases have emerged over, over, over the years to address the pain points that farmers experience. So, such as the knowledge gap, financial exclusion, low productivity, poor access to markets, the overarching challenge of climate change, and when it comes to digital uh, solutions, ICT solutions, poor access to mobile networks and internet connectivity. We have classified in digital agriculture maps, uh, digital uh, agriculture solutions under three main uh, categories we look at the, at the tools that enable access to services, such as digital advisory, enabling access to extension services to farmers. We're also looking at agricultural digital financial services uh, that enable farmers to access uh, credit, savings, agricultural insurance products, and are often enabled by mobile money. We also look at a number of uh, digital uh, solutions that enable access to markets. Digital procurement tools facilitate efficiencies in agricultural in the agricultural last mile and uh, um, uh, facilitate the process of selling and buying products from farmers to agribusinesses. Think about uh, solutions that enable digital payments, for example, or digital records, uh, or procurement records uh, in the agricultural last mile. Agri-e-commerce uh, is also another use case that has emerged strongly in the past few years and is connecting, is enabling uh, farmers to, uh, to, to connect uh, with, uh, with, uh, with markets, with new markets. Finally, when it comes to access to assets, smart farming refers to um, digital solutions often enabled by the Internet of Things, by IoT, uh, that allow for uh, better monitoring and automation of farming operations. 
Now, let's look at an example of the visualizations that are available in DAMS. Uh, this is a view on or a snapshot of active digital agriculture services in, in Africa. Um, we are looking at services that are beyond uh, the pilot uh, stage and uh, that have been operational in the last year. So that's what we mean by active services. This picture or this snapshot of Africa shows you really an heat map of, of digital agriculture in, uh, in the region. Uh, we can see uh, in the darker red color how digital agriculture solutions are more established in East Africa, particularly in the mobile money market of Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, but also in West Africa in places such as Nigeria and, and Ghana. On the right-hand side of this slide, you can see some of the trends uh, and, and the split, really, the distribution of services across the different use cases. Of course, uh, digital advisory is the most established uh, use case. Uh, extension, digitally enabled uh, extension services have been around for some time. Uh, but we've seen, in, particularly, in particular, in the mobile money in markets of East Africa, a strong growth in the continent of uh, agricultural digital financial services. Another example that you can find in DAMS uh, is the same, really, is the same type of visualization for uh, another region, in this case, South Asia. Now, without going into the details of the trends, and you can find all the analysis in DAMS, what you can see here is uh, the importance of, uh, of India as a, an innovation hub for the region, but not only for the region, really, for um, at, a, at, a, at, a global, at a global level. In India as well, uh, digital advisory is well established, is grown rapidly in the past few years with more intelligent smart farming or smart advisory services rather that are more uh, data driven and more granular. But also we are seeing um, new use cases emerging across the region such as digital procurement and also agricultural e-commerce which is grown very fast in, uh, in, uh, in the subcontinent of India. DAMS also offers a dynamic view of the evolution of digital agriculture services. Uh, in this case, we can see really um, an evolution in the past 10 years uh, and uh, of, the different, of the different use cases that we look at in, uh, in DAMS. Uh, you can see how the sector has evolved rapidly uh, in, in the past few years. Many more services have, have appeared, strong growth that we've seen across a number of different use cases, but you can also see how the breakdown of different use cases has changed with the emergence of new solutions that are addressing uh, farmer pain points over, over time. So this is it for me and uh, for this presentation today. I hope you have enjoyed it and uh, I am available for any questions that you might have over the event. Thank you and bye-bye.